Okay, so let me go ahead and try that again. So we have got Season 2 of Teppin, the Season 2, Season 2 Pass, Teppin Pass Season 2. Uh, and we have a new set of awards and events that we can do with the missions and the Season Pass. So we get a bunch of new free cards, another set of... Oh, okay. Well, we only get four right now, but we'll get more later. Uh, then we also get our 50% off of our legendary discount, 50% off of our legendary discount, 50% XP boost for the heroes, and then of course the fact that we got 10 extra packs right out the gate for Day of Nightmares, compliment of Konami. Go ahead and use all 10 of them to not get a single card that I want. First, gotta give it a quick spin, and then... Oh, would you look at that? Okay, I, I don't care. We're going to review every single card in the set. We got a play set of, <laughs> play set of this guy. Okay. Uh, Unbreakable Bond. That's cool. And then uh, nothing. Literally nothing. Uh, no rares. Or no, uh, sorry, not no rares. Uh, oh, that's a good card. Uh, no legendaries. Okay, that was epic. So yes, we're going to go ahead and review every single card from the Season 2 of Teppin. And see how we feel about that. Yes. Let's check some cards. Nash. Okay. Spoiler. I already seen this card. It's amazing. Um, I'm excited for it. I think uh, Explore Red Green Explorer is going to be pretty dope. I'm really excited to see this card get some play. Uh, yeah. Looks neat. Uh, Isla. She thick. <laughs> Shield Death Explore for the Chimera Tech. Or Chimera Ride Armor. I already know what that card does. This is going to end up being a 1 cost, plus 2, plus 2 in shield. Um, which, you know, actually now that I think about it, uh, yeah, they're both 4 costs, so they would be perfect for a Explore combo deck uh, red-green. So, not even shocked. Ada Wong, retiring the Halt mechanic for a Stealth mechanic. Which makes them unblockable. Albert Wesker. When played, gain plus one plus one for each time revenge has been activated. Wow, that's scary. That's actually a really good card. I could see that being like a one or a two of in a revenge deck, having a big boss monster. This is ironically better than the regular Wester, Wesker. Better than the uh, legendary Wesker. That kind of blows. In my opinion, I don't know. Maybe I don't know anything. I'm, I might just be an idiot. Uh, state of nothingness gives... Friendly unit, one attack for each time you use an action card during this battle. Absolutely broken. Um, that's going to be amazing in Wrathless combo decks. Enough said. Veil Seeker of Truth. First time Veil, second time combo, third time plus four attack. Neat. Could be cool. I mean, you get Veil right out the gate, it's 2-9. Eh, you know what? Uh, screw it. I would run that. I would run that in red-green combo. Red-green combo is going to be... That's my pick for the meta. Teostra. They love these big dragon boys. Uh, victory, explore for supernova. Damn, agility too. 3-7, good stat line. 8 damage to all units except for Teostra. Hmm. It's big. It's really big. It's very scary. I like it though. Uh, Transam. Uh, copies card in your EX pocket. And turns to the top of the deck in a random order. <clears throat> it's a 1 cost though. That's going to be really good for... Hmm, what? Your explore cards are going to your EX pocket, so... Red-green combo, again. Red-green combo, deck to build. Kishala Dora, went on the field, reduced the damage. This card is really cool. I like this a lot for uh, Mono Green. For obvious reasons of its 6 cost, but also for the fact that it looks dope. Uh, return something with 5 HP or less to the deck. That's nuts. This is a, this is a very big problem card but six health so reuse can get rid of it uh two attack so uh weskers can get rid of it this is very good card design on gung-ho cannot or gung-ho capcoms uh side so i kind of like it uh general leader spillover the new mechanic dealing half damage to adjacent units looks neat uh, I don't know what Repla Force is though. Plus one, plus five to all all friendly units. That's that's really cool. Uh, big green card. Yeah, maybe he'll be fun. The fact that it's victory means you can definitely get it more than once. Uh, I feel like 
so we're kind of memeing around already with a green, green purple resonate with a X in healing. I think this is going to be perfect for that. Um, giving it plus two, plus five instead of just plus one, plus five. Uh, monstrous virus, purple uh, purple element hero, immune to damage for 30 seconds and immune to life sacrifice for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you lose the battle. This is... <laughs> oh, man. I like that. <clears throat> That's funny. That's mad funny. Like, right before you're going to lose the game, you just, like, X-Factor. That's awesome. Holy cow. That's dope. Uh, hunk. The Grim Reaper. Shield, when a, pur when a friendly purple dies, it gains plus one in shield. This is a cool card. I like this. This is dope. Purple isn't a very monster-heavy deck, though, so I don't really know how good that card's gonna be, but... <clears throat> you know, that's cool. I like it. I respect it. A jury is broken. <laughs> I already know what jury is. If you do damage at this boy, oh my god. You're gonna put Devil Trigger on her, you're gonna explore for Feng Shui Engine, and you're just gonna rip them apart with... Combo spillover, like plus one, plus four. This this is gonna be a really scary card. Nemesis type T type. Uh, do we have more legendaries? I feel like we have more legendaries this time around. Uh, win played, gain plus one, plus one for each time this card has been played during the battle. Death returns self to EX pocket. <laughs> That's funny. That's annoying. Holy cow. You just keep sacrificing it, put it to the X pocket, summon it back. That's this is a funny card. I like that. Jetta, there you go. Get some Jetta. Explore for salvation of souls. Three, three, six for a seven. What does salvation do? Select a friendly unit. All other units other than the selected unit become two two. For each unit change, the selected unit gains plus one plus one. Hmm. It's all right. I don't. Eh. It's, it's all right. This is like the you're falling behind card. I I don't I don't know. Maybe like nah. I don't I don't like it. Not for a legendary. I don't even think you know you have to get a victory too before you even get it. Nah, I don't I don't care for it. I don't think it's that great. But okay, living death. Remove all units from play. You and your opponent move three units in your respective graveyards to the field. Oh, that's a scary card. Eight cost. Big card. Very cool. <clears throat> I like that. A little expensive, but... I mean... You gamble. You gamble big, and uh, you have a chance to get some big stuff. You have to play it in mono black, though, so I don't really know... All the good mono blacks. Maybe we maybe we see some more. I'm, I'm pretty sure what? We got, like, Jetta. Type T doesn't go back to your... Doesn't go to your grave, so that doesn't even count. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, Bushin Ryu Awakening. Explore, perform, explore. Obtain card gets MP minus one. Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay, again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Red green combo, explore. Every single time. This is red green combo, explore. Eh, okay. Win explore, gain MP. Yep, that's good. That's really good. Grant's attacking, plus one attack. Ooh, wow, wow, okay. wonder if... No, okay. I was gonna say, I wonder if combo gets plus, like, plus two because it attacks twice, but no, no. That's not how that works. If that, were, was, that was how that works? Oh my god, broken. Dimitri Maximov. Rush, win played, gain plus one attack for each time you explored. Victory, gain plus two health. Hmm. Could be pretty scary. Red Explorer. Red is just such a scary color, honestly. Aaron, when another unit appears on the field, deal two damage to a random enemy unit. Oh, that's a fun for Ryu burn. That's gonna be hilarious. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. D A. When Explorer plus one plus two. Yeah, sure. It's good. Unbreakable Bond copies a friendly green unit and places it on the field. Okay, let me tell you why Heavenly Legs Chun. Let me tell you why. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a five cost. You can run this in red-green combo. When played, if your explore count is three or higher, everyone gets plus one, plus two. All right. 
ascension ceremony give three six to a friendly unit if you have three friendly units change all of them to three six and give them flight instead so this is basically Felicia, just you know, like your second you player, you just drop this, turn them to flyers. I don't, I don't care for that card. This card's alright, whatever. Angelo Credo, nine, nine, he's so thick. Three ten for a flyer, I don't like it. Don't care for it. New generation Reploids, select one card from all of the cards obtained with Explore. And put it into the EX pocket. Oh, one cost too. Really scary. Pretty cool card. Splendid Buffet. Uh, demonetized. Alright. Deals X2 to an enemy unit. X is the number of cards in both players' EX pockets, and you gain life equal to the damage dealt. I feel like this is a worse version of Nibble, almost. I mean, what? You, the most damage you'll get out of it is 6, I guess? Eh... It's like a better Soul Siphon, but like situationally better than Nibble. Nibble is already situational since it's just RNG. Uh, eh, maybe, maybe it's good. Lupo. When played, gain plus two, plus four. If there's a purple unit in your hand or EX pocket with a cost of four. Okay. Vector. Oh, so is this gonna be a? Is this the thing now? Is MP plus MP is four? So when played, this unit's attacks cannot be blocked. Whoa, that's sick. Okay, cool. So it turns into a two two eight. It's cool. Trish plus one plus one. It's a cheap, very cheap imitation of. Uh, Ibuki Hisenko. You could actually probably replace Hisenko with this. I don't know. Hisenko's really good, though. I don't know. Maybe Trish is good. This could actually be really good. I like it. Tigrex. Resonate. Seal on itself. Oof. I don't really know how I feel about this card. Maybe you get, like, one or two attacks, and then you have to seal it, and that's basically all you get. And it's a 7 cost. Really expensive. It's a fun card, though. Rebirth. Random unit in your grave. Minus 1, minus 1. It places it on the field. Interesting. Could be cool. Could be neat. Vile. Explore Corrosion. Destroy enemy with MP cost of 5 or less. Yep, that's pretty scary. It's on death, but still pretty scary. Diseased souls. Destroy a unit and put an infected on the same board slot. If it doesn't arrive if slot is filled. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, there you go. Tyrant T103. I love this observer looking dude. Agent 47. You have to die to place the super tyrant on the same board slot slow. Abs attack gauge speed, okay. You just want this guy to die, so, okay. <laughs> yep, there it is. You want him to die so you can get the agility combo. Badass over here. Alright. Basil Goose. Place on the field, explore count is higher than three, destroys a random enemy with MP cost of five or less. Funny, but I don't think it's great. I don't know. Black Explorer? Anyone? Unleashed. The cover card. Plus two attack to a friendly unit. If you explore count is higher than three, it also gives them flight. That's gonna be your red green. I mean, this this entire thing is just red green combo. This red green combo deck is gonna be just disgusting. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it though. Guile. Detonation. Six damage to an enemy unit. I love how on death you have a Street Fighter character. On death you have a Mega Man character. Let's go. Uh, how how hard would it have been to like on death explore for flash kick and just like destroy enemy flying unit come on i just want to see i want to see one anti-air thing anti-flight thing with guile that's all i want to see carlos oliveri uh, olive olive yes carlos carlos olive um when played explore shield okay i that is shield one yep one cost give a shield okay cool agnator agnacator akinator okay uh, when played, deal 3 damage to a random enemy unit. Sure, whatever, fine. It's just... 
Hey, here's your replacement for Legiana. If you even need one. I, honestly, I'd rather split the damage. Uh, but sometimes you do need to just... Hit, sometimes you do need to hit the damage. Sometimes, maybe maybe this is a better version of it. I need to look at the stat line. 3, 3, 2, 5, I think, is the other one. Or 2, 4. Mm, both 4 costs. Mm, not bad. It's not terrible. I don't know. Sergio... Serge, Ser, Seregios, whatever. Flight combo, 1-6. Disgusting. Four cost, flight combo, flying. Oh my god. That's a good card. There's your replacement for Carlos? The 1-9 Carlos? I'd rather have a 1-6 flyer. Blade scale, storm, deal three damage to an enemy. Uh, if explore count is higher, deal four damage. It's fine. It's expensive. I don't think that's worth using. Burn Rooster, Blaziken, gain 2 HP, take damage, gain 1 attack. Okay, okay. This is dope. I like this card. Outnumbered. Uh, plus 3, if you have 3 friendly units, plus 2, plus 2. Wow. Potentially plus 2, plus 5 off a of 3 cost. That's pretty sick. Kulu Yaku, explore for agility, one cost agility, right? One cost, oh wow, plus one, plus one, and agility, that's pretty good. Alright, cool. Layer, oof, oof. MP cost 30, alright. Shield, alright. When played, deal three damage to a random enemy with flight, alright. So, this is basically your card to replace the felines. Very cool, very cool. Iris is still the best. Loyal to the cause. Plus seven to a friendly unit. If you have three units, this card returns to the X pocket. Sure, whatever. It's fine. Rufus. Oh, yeah, here's the man. Explore for shield. Three, six. Willow. Explore for spillover. Ooh. Victory plus one, plus two. Mmm. And it gets plus one, plus two for spillover. That's a really cool card. Oops. Did not mean to click that. Oh, I saw the next one though. Blanca. When played, six damage to a random enemy unit with flight. There we go. It's a little bit more flight. Counter damage four. Does that mean that count? Okay, well, one counter needs to be a keyword. Counter damage plus four. That's dope. I like it. So basically, something attacks it and they take five back. Cool. I almost feel like if this had slow or if you had cards that could induce slow, that would be kind of funny. Sacrificial Pawn, plus one, plus one to a friendly unit. Adds Bioweapon Capsule to the opponent's EX Pocket. Then they play the EX Pocket, Bioweapon Capsule. Uh, so, you're, you're paying... You're paying a cost to make them have a clogged up EX Pocket. You can put something with flying on the same board slot, and then they're really in trouble if they don't have any way to actually get rid of the flyer, because this doesn't do any damage. And, obviously, it doesn't have flying. And then... And then you have Brutal Bioweapon, uh, and they lose 3 life, so I guess you're going to do 3 extra damage to them. But then you give them a 4-7. This is probably one of the most interesting cards in this entire set. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it looks neat. Um, especially for a black card. This is really weird. Really interesting. I like the idea of screwing over the uh, EX pocket, though. Pitfall Trap. Explore count is 3. Inflict Halt for 16 seconds. Does purple even explore that much? Jesus Christ, 16 seconds. This is a worse version of Darkhold, though, because you need three count on your explorer, so a lot of times this will just be a dead card. Uh, unless purple just has tons of explorer. I feel like they've only had a couple. I think this is just like, it's a decent card if you have the explorer, but if you don't, uh, maybe this will be good in like red purple. I was experimenting with red purple burn. Um, maybe that, you know, red, purple, explore, burn. Maybe. I feel like most of the explore cards, though, are stat boosters. I don't like this card. Beltway! Alright, uh, if a friendly unit... Right, so purple is turning into four cost extraordinaires. Alright. If you have a four cost, then return an enemy unit with four or less. Interesting. So this is what it this is what all of it is. It's all a bunch of four cost shenanigans. 
I, I don't know how I feel about this. I think it's neat. I, I don't think it's amazing. I think it is neat. Um, but this is a really good card. <laughs> you seize control of a random enemy unit with four or fewer health. This could potentially be amazing. This is the best one so far of the four cost boys. Hell Vanguard, Flight, Death, Return of the EX Pocket. I don't like it. I, I don't think it's good enough. Run a Buki. Run, run other cards. It's not worth it. When played, Explore Stealth. Sting Chameleon. He's a good boy. Uh, we already know what Stealth does. 2-9. Neat card. 5 cost. A little expensive. Pisenko. When played, Explore Count is 3 or higher. Return a unit in front to the EX pocket. I don't know if it's amazing. Again, depends on the explorers. Uh, Angus. Agnes. Gives revenge. Plus one, plus three. Friendly unit. Okay, whatever. G adult. This is where I stopped caring because I, I don't like playing black that much. One G young. What does G young do? Deals one damage to the enemy hero. This is an annoying card. Holy cow. This is really stupid. I don't think it's good. I think it's dumb, though. I think it's really annoying. Win play. Oh, Vega. There you go. Explore for Cruelty. I wish it would have been Explore for Vega's Claw or something. That's basically what you're going to have to do if you're playing Vega. Uh, give friendly unit plus two plus two if there's a unit with four or fewer health on the field. What is this? This is... Five for a two eight. This is okay, but I feel like a lot of the cards in this set have like really low attack and really high health, and they're just banking on the explore. William Birkin G one explore for corrosion. This is that guile damage weapon, right? Oh no no, this is the destroying cards. Okay, that's fine. Cool art. Hi Max. Flight, Revenge, plus two, plus two. This is amazing. This is going to be played in Revenge decks. I feel I feel like it will be, at least. I don't know. I'm garbage at this game anyways. Faded Conclusion. Uh, when a MP cost of three or less, Explore Count is one or higher. Uh, destroy with six or less. Okay. This is pretty funny. This is very good, actually. You only have to explore once, and it's just instantly a better card. Scavenger. Deals X damage to an enemy... Jesus Christ. What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? Deals X damage to an enemy unit where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. Your hero gains life equal to the original HP of the enemy unit defe defeated. Defeated. Original HP does... Original HP should not have to be even talked about. And then, of course, the count number in graveyard. That's fine. Lightning Bolt. Two damage to an enemy unit. Puts one card from your deck with the same name into the EX pocket. Uh, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. Okay. Cower. Prevent an enemy unit from countering. <laughs> I love the art in this. That's hysterical. Uh, Maki. Girl Ken. Alright, she has combo. 1-7 combo. There's your cheap Guile knockoff. Because I'm pretty sure Guile is 1-6. So this is just a better version of Guile. Are we really going to do this, guys? Are we really going to do this? Or we're just going to make... just We're going to power creep out older cards already like this. That's kind of weird. Whatever. Explore for Fighting Spirit. Plus 2, plus 2. It's fine. Vengeance, deal 2 damage to an enemy unit. Explore count is 1. There it is again. All you have to do is explore once. This card is instantly better. This card is amazing. 3 cost, you're going to see this all over the place. This is cheap, 5 damage. This isn't 2 damage, this is 5 damage. Don't Explore count 1 or higher. This doesn't mean anything. This means after you've played 1 additional card, you automatically are doing more damage. This is amazing. Velocidrome. Can't block enemy unit attacks. Mm. It could be a good thing, but I don't like it. At least you don't take damage on the way back. I guess that's like the silver lining, but even still. Metal wing. 
plus four attack damage. What? <laughs> what? One seven gains four attack damage. Did they just mean to make this? <laughs> Did they mean to make it a, a six seven? Is it, or five seven rather? Or is it that when it attacks, it's doing... Oh, it might be that. It's when it attacks, it does 5 damage. See, this is another thing that should... I feel like this should be a... Well, no, attacking is already a thing. So what? It's just very, very susceptible to s seal? Is that the joke? Whatever. Slash Beast. Hey, there you go. Combo 4-4 four, four on a 5 cost. This is a scary card. That's a monster. Hey, Zeku. There you go. Explore for combo. I'm kind of sad. I wanted to see a legendary Zeku that turns into young Zeku on Resonate. The young Monet, but gives combo to a friendly unit. He's a 210, basically considered a 210 with combo for five. That's scary. Then again, I'm the. Who am I to say that, you know, red green combo or just red combo isn't going to ruin everything? Uh, besieged. Gives reduced damage to three. Okay. To a friendly unit. That's kind of cool. So, if they take three or less damage, reduce it to one. Cool. Auto heal. Gain one HP for every five seconds. Now, this is interesting. Because we have a... We have a red-purple meme where... Oh, no, no, sorry. Green-purple meme where if you use X and his... Mega Buster thing where you get an, an attack for every HP you gain. This card is going to be sick. Um, it's a two cost, so you can basically replace it like with healing. I mean, I guess you know, quick healing is still really good, but this makes your cards, you know, continue to gain damage instead of just you know one pop of it. I like this card a lot. This is cool. T Hawk. Oh yeah, it's the Free Hawk baby. Spill over. Again, I wouldn't have minded seeing some flight hate, but spillover on a 2-5 is pretty cool, I guess. It's not a lot of damage, it's just one extra damage. Put him in the middle. But I like it. It's cool. Herculean Strength. What does it do? Oh yeah, plus three and then victory. Plus one, plus one. Yeah, I've seen this. Okay. Party Girl. Is that her name? Party Girl? It's funny. When played, two damage, random enemy unit with flight. Cool. More flight hate. It's neat. Defensive formation. I like how they're like defending themselves and then this guy's over here like, Hey buddy, you want to hear a funny joke? He kind of looks like Seth MacFarlane too, actually. Give shield to your hero. If you have three units, give shield to all heroes. Oh, or all units, all friendly units. Yes, I know how to read. Um, cool card. Could be neat. I think we already have something that gives a shield to the hero, so I'd have to compare it with that, but I don't know what that card is off the top of my head, so who knows. Arley. Hmm. When played explore count is higher than one, aka if you if you're playing an explore deck, you have plus five health to something that isn't him. Cool. Two six for five. I don't know if I like it though. I don't think it's that great. Death, explore, spillover, tweed. Three five. Nope. Right armor. Yep. Dope. Card's good, but this is not the card you're going to be using to search for it, so there you go. Returns an enemy with one or less attack to the EX pocket. Hmm. I mean, for a one cost, it's okay, but if you play purple, you'll probably note that uh, these cards are huge bricks that just weigh your hand down if you can't play them, so something to consider this is not a good card this is a very bad card Manot, there you go explore for weakness what does it do minus three attack for one attacks nope one nine for a three is pretty cool but nope i'd rather run the big mummy boy or literally anything else for three add a wong explore for stealth three cost that's pretty good Two, five, three cost, explore for stealth. Not bad at all. Call in, explore, draw a card, put it in the EX pocket. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I misread that. When your opponent uses explore, 
Draw a card, put it in the EX pocket. This is good. I like this a lot. Um, do I think it's going to be great? No. Is it like a, a fun tech card? Yeah, of course. That's funny. Factor. I like his eyes. I like this guy's eyes a lot. Give purple unit plus one plus one in your hand or EX pocket. Wish this was if you have a unit of four in your hand, just plus one plus one to all of them. I like this four cost purple deck. This is really cool. I just wish it was different. Mei Ling, there you go. Um, that's another Darkstalkers character, right? I think. Yeah, weakness. It's fine. 2 4. Yeah. And yeah, there you go. The Zenko's there. Sure. Burfa. Alright, another 4 cost. Resonate if there's a purple unit other than itself with 4. Give all friendly units plus 2 health. Wow. Okay. Well, other than itself. Decent. Cool. I like the picture. Looks funny. Reconnaissance. I read that is Renaissance for a second. If your explore count is one or higher, negate an action card of five or less. Well, you know, I think that card that halves your health is still going to be the, the go-to counter, but this is a very good card. This is a very, very good card. Um, again, it depends on how many purple cards I've explored that I'm willing to run, but this is a really cool card. This is going to be very good in specific, very specific decks. Supreme Senjutsu Oro negates an action card with MP of 6 or less. Holy cow. Your, if your explore count is 3 or higher, gain minus 4. Oh, so this turns into a 3 cost. Negate something of 6 or less. Okay. This is a very interesting card. Again, dependent 100% on how good Explorer is as a tactic or purple. To which I do. I'm I'm not I'm not a believer. I'm not a believer. Hated Hatred Reborn. Place a random unit with three or less on the death field. Sure, that's fine. Cheap, easy, easy breezy cover girl. That's fine. Burn Nano Rex. If your opponent, if your life is ten or lower, gain plus two plus four. Okay, so it turns to a four eight for three. I don't like this card. I don't like. I I, don't, I just don't like playing black. This is probably a good card, honestly. If you're willing to play the suicidal uh, Nerg deck, when played, gain plus two plus two and destroyed after one attack. <sighs> Oh, to a friendly unit other than itself. Okay. So, it's okay. It's decent. You could play it out of the other card that revives something out of your grave. Revive this card. Get a plus two, plus two. Self-destruct. They need it. This needs to be a keyword, too. Destroy it after one attack. Just name it self-destruct or something. Just, you know, keyword it. It's fine. Keywords are important in this game. Double-edged sword, plus four attack on Delph deals damage. Jesus Christ, that's a scary card. But it could really turbo out your suicidal Nerg. Abigail. hate the way this guy looks. Plus one attack anytime revenge activates. Hmm. A 1-3. That's not good. It's not good at all. I mean, I don't know. I guess... Revenge would activate quite a bit. For four costs, though? Mm. I don't know. An okay card. It's budget. It's fine. Cruelty is, uh, yeah, plus two, plus two if there's something with less than four health. This is a fun card. Anjanath. Big Dragon Boys. Nikolai Jonev. Look at this smug looking guy. When played, random card from your opponent's hand or EX pocket to the grave. That's a fun card. And it's a four cost. The ultimate price, sacrifice 5 life, destroy 1 unit, if your life is lower than 15, remove 5 cards from your deck, instead of sacrificing 5 life. That's a good card. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine. Sacrifice 5 life to destroy a unit. Alternatively, you could just play the uh, destruction card for 6. Bank off of them buffing their card and you get plus two mana and then you react with the card with bison throwing Nash off a cliff 
Just do that instead. Or throwing Charlie. He's not Nash just yet. Sliding Worm. Sends self to graveyard. Plays a giant infected worm. Okay, what is giant infected worm? Victory plus one plus four. <laughs> It's a very expensive card in a, car in a deck that doesn't run expensive cards. I don't like it. I think it's garbage. So, what are my opinions on this? I don't know. As somebody who YouTube probably doesn't care about, and as somebody who probably doesn't even have a Teppan following, I think that Red Green Explorer is going to be amazing. Alright, but yeah, that's that's going to be it for, for this. Oh, I guess I can also craft a Legendary now, huh? I'm probably not going to, but... Um, I mean, let me see what my legendary options are real quick. Remember, you get half off on a legendary craft, so that's kind of fun. Just grab this card. I don't know. I don't have nearly enough dust to do that, but I want this state of nothingness so badly. That's just such a good card. State of nothingness is probably what I'll be spending my... Uh, my half on either that or dragon lord's judgment because that's a really good card too but it's probably going to be state of nothingness because this card is just way too good um yeah so that's all for me peace